girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a ton of organizing in today's video, mainly with my kids' clothes at the beginning of this video. So it is now April, as you guys know, and it is getting so much warmer here in Ontario, Canada. So I just wanted to go through my kids' clothes and get rid of things that are a little bit too wintry things that I can save for next year, things that will no longer fit my kids. I have three girls if you're new here. And hi, my name is Lindsay. My daughters are Blake, Olivia, and Reese, and they are almost seven, five, and three. So my youngest, this is her room, and she is now in a 4T. So anything that is less than a 4T, we are just gonna donate either to my niece or we are going to take it to Goodwill. I also have a pile that you'll see shortly that is just clothes that I toss because they have stains or paint or whatever on them. So I'm just going to go through her clothes and my older two's clothes and get that organized because this is definitely something that we all should be doing for spring cleaning. And this was definitely on my to-do list for quite some time. Touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. So this big bag is going to my niece. She's only um just shy of five months, but my sister-in-law is going to save all that stuff for her. So this is um, clothes that will fit Reese Bear. I'm keeping some sweaters out, like zip-ups and stuff like that, because it's still cold here, and I don't want to just have t-shirts and stuff. Um, <coughs> but I kept, like, any, like, wintry, wintry stuff I'm going to put down here for now. And then these are all her pants t-shirts and long sleeve shirts, shorts and t-shirts, shorts, pants. So that's all organized. And then I have to hang up a couple of these things, like her summary things to put back in here. the girls my older two girls closet um, just to kind of wean out the really wintry stuff and bring out they have like spring summer stuff all up here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So this is all the win like winter winter stuff for Liv and um, Blake that I'm going to put away. Okay, sweetie. Actually, this one too is really fuzzy. Yeah, in just a sec, honey. But this is a ripple effect because... So this is all clothes that have stains, like Goodwill or whatever. They're not going to take it because they've got paint on them or stains. This I'm going to save for Reese because it's still in really good shape. And like this little Mickey Minnie Mouse sweater. So this is a ripple effect. So even though I finished Reese's, when I clear out her sister stuff, then I have to come in here and do Reese's stuff, which just makes it three times the amount of work, but that's okay. So I'm gonna save all this for Reese, and then I'll put the girls' clothes away, and we'll go through that next winter. 
So now that the girls' clothes are all organized, I am starting by putting away a ton of laundry. I feel like <laughs> you can let me know in the comments below if your house is like this, but I am forever putting laundry away. There's always laundry. with a, As like a family of five, it just doesn't end. So I am just folding all the clothes. I'm gonna put them in their proper spots. This was, I should mention, filmed over a couple of days. Um, and next, I heard somewhere that if you soak your towels in baking soda, it makes them super soft. I will say it was a pain in the butt to wring them all out. I know there's a couple different ways of doing this, so I think in the future, I'm just gonna add baking soda to them dry and then throw them in the wash and then put some vinegar through the cycle and that should make them soft because soaking them, I saw it on TikTok, <laughs> and soaking them in the baking soda was fine and they came out super soft, but wringing out each towel was a pain in the butt and also an incredibly surprisingly good arm workout. <laughs> so I am just gonna tackle deep cleaning this bathroom. So that includes hairbrushes, um, the blinds, the light fixtures, and really scrubbing everything down. I will say that I find it so much easier to use my spin mop or like a vi if you have a Vileta mop, it's so much easier to have like hot soapy water in a bucket and just wash down the walls and everything. And it is so satisfying, let me tell you, knowing that every square inch of your bathroom is spotless and clean because you used your mop. It's so much easier. It saves a ton of time. So I highly, highly recommend it. So now I am just using, this is called the pink stuff, and I'm using it to scrub the shower because we have hard water stains um, where I live. We just have hard water, so it drives me bonkers to see like a rusty color on my tile in the shower. So this stuff works really well. However, I found something that works even better, and it is a combination of baking soda, Dawn dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide. Those three ingredients take up stains on grout, um, water stains, stains on your carpet, on your kids' clothes, anything more than I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so hydrogen peroxide, about, um, I don't know, like a quarter cup, a quarter cup of dish soap, and um, half a cup of baking soda. Uh, don't shoot me if those are not the correct measurements, but just enough so that it looks blue, but it's kind of like still watery and it takes any stains up so, so well. So you guys are going to have to try it. It's super affordable too, and it's just a better option. So it always feels so good to have the master bath cleaned. This everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Everyone keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss your touch 
so to finish off this video i am vacuuming up the cobwebs in our house because we have a very old house we get a ton of spiders and i swear i could do this every day they're little buggers i don't know how they get in <laughs> Maybe it's the 100 year old foundation. I don't know. But um, they leave like little wispy cobwebs all over the place, especially in my kitchen, like around the um, ceiling, as you can see here. So I am just going around and vacuuming all of it up. It's the same thing upstairs. They drive me nuts. I know spiders are good because they eat other bugs, but I secretly hate them. <laughs> so I was just vacuuming up and then I am finishing the towels and switching the laundry again there's always <laughs> so much laundry to do um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I do have some more pre-recorded content coming for you guys and a ton of spring cleaning motivation up ahead I also want to do a lot more cooking videos like I was thinking of doing like a video on five budget friendly family friendly meals for the week um, and just like our like family staples and stuff like that. I know those videos can take a lot more work because you're recording every day for like five days or whatever, but I think that would be really cool. So let me know in the comments below um, if you guys would like to see more cleaning videos and or sorry, more cooking videos and like baking and just like ideas on what to feed your family and stuff like that. So let me know down below and I will definitely film that for you guys. But um, I have my new laptop. We got the editing system all sorted out. So we're all good to go. I'm so excited to be back filming for you guys because I missed it. It was only two weeks that I was gone, but it felt like an eternity and it was driving me bonkers. So I'm very happy to be back. I love you all and I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of stuff on Instagram that obviously I don't share on here, more day-to-day -day stuff. So I hope that you will give me a follow. Love you guys. Have a blessed week.